Recently, I have decided that I would like us to become more minimal. We have been on a minimalist journey for about four, almost five years now. And along that journey, I have decluttered a ton of stuff. And for the last probably two years, I have felt really comfortable with our amount of stuff we have and our um, kind of our rate of minimalism because I feel like there are so many, there's a huge spectrum of minimalist people and the amount that people decide to keep when they want to become more minimal. We are a family of four about to become a family of five. And lately I have just been finding myself becoming a little bit more overwhelmed with the amount of stuff we have. And I find it kind of interesting with minimalism because the more minimal I have become, the more things I have decluttered, there will be this period of time where I will feel like, wow, this feels great. We are so minimal or we just have the perfect amount of stuff. And then all of a sudden, it's not that things are coming back in, but I will find myself not using certain things or just realize that I can actually declutter more and get rid of more things that we're just not using or they just are not needed. So recently I have been becoming a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> in general. And I feel like for me, a big part of becoming more minimal and decluttering was to simplify my life and make things easier. And so one thing that I've done all along is I have saved clothes for the boys to either grow into, um, either passed down from family and friends or from my oldest child to go to my younger son. And recently I have realized that while I might still save a few things, these bins have become a little bit of a burden for me because of a few reasons. It's a lot more work because you're having to visit these bins constantly because my boys are constantly growing and I think what would actually simplify everything is to get rid of the hand-me-down system <laughs> and go to a way more minimalist capsule wardrobe for my boys and if you have ever heard of the channel mini mom i will link it down below i absolutely love her channel it is all about minimalism and her simple life and she has quite a few videos on there about how she does a capsule wardrobe for her boys and i thought wow that looks so simple she just goes out and gets what she needs at that season what's gonna fit them and it's very capsule so I think it's something like five t-shirts five pairs of shorts something like that so what I'm gonna do right now is go through these bins that are pretty big I'll show you how big they are pull out the things that we're gonna use right away like winter stuff and fall stuff I'm going to put that into my boys room and I might keep a little box of off-season clothing in their room so it's really simple just to pull down, go through, but I'm not having to pull these big bins out of the garage. I think the fact that we have a baby on the way is another reason why I just want to get super organized, but they've been mixed and matched and the kids have gone through them and it's just, it has become something that is not simple. I like to declutter very quickly and as simply as possible. I have a box here. This is what I will fill with the things that I know we want to donate or get rid of. I'm going to go through later and separate out donations and things that need to possibly be recycled or thrown away, but I'm just going to put it all in one box to start. I've already gone through and gathered a bunch of shoes that no longer fit them. So how I'm going to do it is I'm putting all the stuff I'm going to get rid of in this box. Once this is full and then one of these is empty, then a whole bin of this will probably go. 
Um, and then everything that they can wear right now is gonna go right up here to go into their wardrobe. Mm -hmm. my snow outfit <laughs> that I found at the Goodwill or a secondhand store last winter. But um, I will probably store things like this in a bin in the garage only because we live in Southern California in a warm area where we don't get snow, but we can go to the local mountains. So I will probably store that sort of stuff that is really not needed in our closets still in the garage. Again, snow boots are gonna go in that bin, so we can use them when we need them, but they're not clogging up the closet. And another thing is we get so many clothes given to us as gifts so for birthdays and Christmas and that sort of thing and if I want to keep a more minimal wardrobe this is actually just too much as well besides you know the sizing and all that it's just wanting to have less overall and by the time I pull these clothes out even if I do get to them in time and they work out we already have newer things from, again, things getting given to us or if I see something out that we're, we need right at that moment. And then we have this stuff as well. So it's just an abundance of things that hopefully by me decluttering and giving to a secondhand store that someone else can use at the right time, at the right moment. And so many of these things are in such good condition too. So. I just, we just don't need this much stuff in our lives. Things keep popping in my head as I'm going through everything, but another thing with kids and kids clothing that just popped into my head is even though they're kids, you think, oh, they wear whatever you give them. But I've realized that my boys each have their own unique style, and it's not necessarily the look of the clothes, it's more the feel of the clothes. So for instance, my older son has no interest in clothes that are uncomfortable in any way, like jeans or anything binding or tight. He is not a fan. And my younger son is way more attracted to colorful clothes. So something like this for my younger son, he would probably not wear very often. So I find by just getting the clothes that make them feel the most comfortable, that they really like, makes it so much better. Then you have clothes that they're wearing rather than just constantly pushing aside to the back of the drawer. sentimental and this was a race shirt that we made I think when Calvin was really little and another reason why I wanted to go through these bins is I knew I had a few baby items I had kept from my boys and for instance here's an all black shirt my husband's from New Zealand so we kept this as a little um, I guess something sentimental but now the new baby can wear it so I am just going to put this little pile to go into the baby items. Here was the outfit that my two boys came home in, so this baby will probably come home in this outfit as well. Here's the pile of things to be donated just because it's not their style, it's not going to fit them anytime soon. And then this is the pile that could possibly fit them. I'm gonna have them try it all on, see what will work for this current season. 
and if it doesn't then that will also be donated it honestly feels so good to not have these bins to think about in my garage anymore and while I will still try to buy everything I can secondhand because I as a minimalist part of it is to not be so wasteful and I don't want to be part of like the fast fashion industry and all of that which is why I always kept these things but at this point I just really want to simplify things even further and I've always found that the less clothing that we have the easier it is so my goal is just to have seven days worth of clothes and I always wash everything on that seventh day um, and if they were to run out of something of course I could do another load midweek but I've just found the less we have the easier it is to manage everything and have everything working for us so this is a huge burden <laughs> off my shoulders and I already feel less stressed out and I'm going to be going through my whole house and doing decluttering projects like this so I would love it if you would want to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and tapping the bell you'll never miss a video that way and we can go through these things together I can talk through it and tell you kind of my thinking behind it and give you any tips I might have and hopefully um, we can all declutter together and really get organized and be part of our minimalist journey and maybe you're on a minimalist journey and we can all encourage ourselves each other in the comments and get encouraged ourselves so thank you so much for joining me today and you can also see more on our vlog channel and my instagram i'll have everything linked below and i'll see you in the next video bye